Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be doing your love life in the next 30 days. So we have group number one, group two, group three, and group four. So this is for you guys who are single, in a relationship, you know, whatever your status is right now. Obviously, if we do pick up on anyone new, I'll be mentioning that and all that jazz. So please choose your group now. If you want to kind of get a little bit more time, then just pause the video. All the time stats will be down below and also in the comment section. So please choose your group and let's get started. So starting off with group number one. Hello, group number one. Let's get started with your reading. Let's have a look and see what's going on for you guys in your love life in the next 30 days. So starting off with the crystal card, this is called Kunzite. So it says, call on Kunza after a breakup or a major disappointment or when you're beating yourself up about something. You don't need permission to be here. You belong. If you forget that, pause, tap into Kunzite's pink prismatic vibration and let love rule open your love channel. Okay, so I love the fact that this is actually about love. I mean, Kunza is a very open-hearted crystal. It's really kind of delicate. So I do feel like for you guys, it's being really, really kind to yourself. So you could have gone through like quite a big breakup recently. It could have been really hard. I do feel the need for you guys to be really subtle and gentle with yourself and just be really, really, really super, super, super kind to yourself, okay? And I feel like if you are suffering and it is really, really intense and it feels just like you're beating yourself up and you're thinking, I'll never get a relationship or it never will happen. It never will kind of like end up in a good way. I feel like you just need to work on what you can do right now and what you can actually do about the situation, okay? I feel like that's a really gentle crystal. So just be really gentle with yourself and that things will improve, okay? So next card we have out is commitment. So for you guys, you could be dealing with somebody who you're already committed to. But those of you who are wanting a relationship and you are currently single, I do feel like there is definitely commitment coming in the next 30 days. So this doesn't actually have to pertain to love. I know this is a love reading, but obviously timing is very fluid. So commitment can be you're committed to your own journey, you're committed to yourself, and therefore that's actually manifesting you a relationship. It says the frequency of commitment supports our ability to devote ourselves in all aspects of our being and with unwavering belief. So I feel like for you guys, you could be more committed to your journey and feel like if people are in your in your energy and they're very negative and they're very toxic and you kind of need to clear that energy, really being committed to yourself will help that. And also with the number 13, this could be very significant to you. You could be born in the number 13. It could be kind of like a time that's very significant or something like that. But also we have one and three. So one and three can be very, very significant for you. Three is all about communication. It's about change. It's about fluidity and creativity. And number one is about new beginnings. So you guys could be really committed to your journey of creativity. I feel like it's definitely committed commitment to your journey. Okay, so let's see what else is coming through. So, oh yes, exactly, you have number one. This is literally what I just said. So number one with new beginnings. I feel like for you guys with a daffodil, this is really very much about like springtime. So Springtime could also be very significant. You could be an Aries, you could be a Pisces, someone who's born around springtime. But I also feel like you are getting new beginnings, guys. So if you are single and you're wanting love life to come in or just to meet somebody new or just to even have some new friends, I feel like you're definitely going to gain that. I feel like you're really going to gain a lot of new energies coming in. I feel like there's going to be a lot of new people who really want to be around you, people who really want to kind of you not I was gonna say use your energy that's not the thing that I was gonna say basically to kind of be around you and both of you have like a really kind of yin yang relationship and I just heard like a very weird sound it sounded like kind of like a radio cracking or like um like a signal cracking so I don't know if that's like a synchronicity or something but I feel like something just just cracked and I feel like for some of you guys you could also have been kind of waiting for something to crack something to kind of like end so you can really kind of come into this new energy okay so let's have a look and see what's going on. We have Virgo, we have Trine, and we also have Cancer. So you guys could be um, a Virgo. You could also be a Cancer or Cancerian. Um, you, this could also be your uh, moon sign or your rising sign. You know, it doesn't have to be. This could be the person coming in as well. I feel like if this is a person, I do feel like it's somebody very organized. I feel like this is somebody who's very genuine, very open. And I feel like with Cancerian, this is definitely about you using your feminine power to drive you forward and you're growing. I'm hearing you're growing, you're growing into somebody really, really beautiful. And you're just letting, I'm hearing you're letting love flow. You're letting, does this say let love rule? Yes, let love rule. So I feel like you're letting love rule within your relationships. I feel like the more you connect to your love life and how you really feel, in the relationship, especially you to do with friendships or any kind of relationship, it doesn't have to actually have to do with romantic. This could be in like family, you could be seeing your relationships with your family, things changing. 
and just things like really changing up. So I feel like you guys are really seeing things from a new perspective and you're also really working on your health. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're really working on your health and and your fitness and your emotions and you're really just letting things flow and it's helping things to flow as well and I feel like that's really really good so so much positivity with this group guys I feel like you guys have got a lot of gorgeous energy and I feel like you're really recognizing that you deserve love and you deserve somebody who's who's really gonna put the effort in for you and someone who's really gonna give you all the energy and all the kind of commitment in the world and you're not gonna kind of deal with somebody who's then gonna give you like tidbits and kind of like you know just breadcrumb you you know they're gonna you're gonna manifest and be around people who are really are really good for your energy so let's have a look at, well okay <laughs> let's have a look and see what's coming into you guys all right so beautiful we have venus that's a really that's really what i was feeling like the venus energy is coming through really strong with this group you guys are really recognizing your empress energy and obviously if you are if you recognize as a male or a masculine exactly the same thing you're just letting your heart open which is perfect so for those of you who are masculine or recognize yourself as a masculine especially for you guys because it can be more difficult for masculines to come into their heart energy because they're more ego driven so it's easier for and obviously it's easier for women to kind of or feminine energies to be less dominant so that's kind of like a natural progress so as long as you can kind of balance out the masculine and the feminine there's endless possibilities so i feel like for you guys you're going to meet somebody or have some sort of opening around your love life in terms of travel so it could be somebody who is from a far off land like kind of someone who's foreign to you so somebody who you have not met yet or it could be somebody who you're kind of thinking oh this might be the right one but i'm not too sure i'm kind of wanting a bit of confirmation but also this is kind of you're going out of your boundaries which is good like a good boundary it's kind of like you're going out of your comfort zone so around your love life you're starting to branch out and kind of feel into what really suits you and the eighth house is all about intensities it's all about kind of the underworld the underlying thing so with this being about venus and sag it's kind of like you're wanting things that you didn't really want before because you're now being more authentic within your own energy and it just feels really really good i love this so let's have a look and see what's going on for you guys let's have a look at your energy so we're going to see what's kind of going on for you guys in your love life right now beautiful the unicorn absolutely stunning i love this so this is somebody who is very enlightened very open very wanting just wanting to expand their knowledge around spirituality your person is the frog or the situation you're dealing with is the frog and then the relationship is the otter so I feel like this person is, I always get rain on me, that song rain on me when I get this card. I feel like your person or the situation you're dealing with, it's just kind of like flow, absolute flow. The person you could be dealing with could be a water sign or a fire sign. Um, there's somebody who's very gentle and you're going to be in a situation where your heart is really opening. So whether this is somebody else or this is just yourself really advancing in your love life and really letting your heart open, I feel like because you're being in more own, your more genuine self, you're really letting yourself kind of expand and more things are coming in your energy. So you're able to really take on more than what you could handle. So before possibly because your head was kind of full up with negativity or stress or anxiety around the future or dealing with a toxic narcissistic kind of situation. Now you're kind of letting that go or learning to let that go. I feel like somebody wants to come in who is very, very genuine and there's somebody who is, a, is an observer they could even be a Sagittarius as well I'm feeling like they could be Sagittarius but the otter here is showing me that it's somebody who really kind of joins in with you so when you're with them they're very present they really look at you and they really like stare at you and like you know they're really in your energy so obviously if this is in 30 days I feel like for some of you this could be about two months but just take it as it resonates this could be in 30 days as well obviously it depends on your journey everyone's on a different journey but I do feel like some of you guys could be a Scorpio connected with a Sag or vice versa because we have the eighth house which is also Scorpio so obviously you're saying a lot of star signs but you know just take it as it resonates but I do feel like you're the sort of person who is very open you're very genuine you're somebody who really is ruled by your third eye so you're somebody who can really pick up on social cues or things that are, is kind of underneath and you're, you're you can really pick up on that without other people saying what it is um you just know so when you meet this person you'll just know that it's the right situation you'll just know that it's that it's the right thing okay so we're gonna have a look into the tarot and we're gonna see what sort of thing wants to come out so let's go with this card deck oops it's a mess <laughs> okay let's see about your tarot let's see what wants to come out okay group number one please 
yeah you guys are letting go of just things that no longer serve you just anything that is old outdated that is just needs to go any toxic ways of feeling around love just you're letting yourself be much more open and you're allowing for things to move through instead of get stuck and i'm getting like a really hot face as i'm, I'm saying this so you guys could be getting quite hot as you're uh, listening to this you could um have like something around your face that's very warm or something like that you could be lying down in bed or in one side of your face is very warm something like that oops okay so we have the chariot and we have the devil so i'm seeing this devil as i'm hearing one of two things so i am seeing it as something negative but also very positive and we do have the knight of cups underneath which is a very positive sign this is somebody who really wants to give to you all of that gorgeous energy so with the devil, I'm feeling like you are now learning what it is to feel relieved and feel open and let yourself be very open. I feel like I'm, I'm seeing this energy is very jangled. So I feel like you've recently felt very jangled, very confused. But for some of you guys, this devil is also, it's very empowering. It's very eighth house. It's very empowering. It's very sexual. It's very intense. And I feel like you're going to meet somebody who has that same intensity as you. And with the High Priestess and the King of Swords, this is like a massive power couple. So this is somebody who you're not just going to meet kind of like when you're in some sort of survival mode or, you know, any sort of kind of like mode where you're having to hide yourself. This person's coming in when you are the, your most authentic self. So if you feel like you have to hold yourself back when you say things, you have to kind of really like hold back whenever there's some sort of argument or anything like that or not, no need to kind of get into conflict this is the relationship that's going to come after you've relieved yourself of that anxiety because this is somebody who's very open they're, they're really good at speech there's somebody who's got really strong aquarian energy they could have aquarius rising something like that they're a change maker and they're somebody who they use um, their sexuality to really kind of push themselves so it could be that they use their creativity as something that really pushes themselves to it's the same energy creativity and sensuality is, is the same energy it's that kind of power that pushes them through so i do feel like you're coming into a massive energy of like enlightenment and you're feeling really good about yourself very grounded and therefore it's moving you towards a much healthier relationship with sensuality and things that are taboo and things that are really in our society taboo but they're really not like like sensuality is so natural for human beings it's so natural to to touch people and to hug them and to talk to them that's completely natural and i think you're realizing that that's something that you really want and something you want to go towards okay so that is your reading guys i really hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for being here if you'd like a private reading all my information is down below i love you guys also if you want to check out these little copper spheres they are so good for grounding i highly recommend they will be on my shop very soon so look out for that Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you guys. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number two. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see what you're going to go through with your love life in the next 30 days. So we have the card of Amethyst, one of my faves. Isn't that just so, so beautiful? I actually sell these clusters on my shop. Uh, the link is down below if you're interested. So Amethyst is a really, really super, super good crystal overall. It's really good for protection, very good for spiritual enlightenment. I actually heard sensual enlightenment as well, so that's interesting. And I just feel like it's a very natural energy. It's kind of like, it doesn't kind of make things like change really drastically. It's a very supportive crystal. So if you guys need a bit of support, this one is the one, she is the one. So the thing I'm really kind of drawn to is the fact it says where to put it, the interior decorator's little purple secret. Amethyst can uplift the vibe of any living space. So if you guys, you could be kind of interior decorators, you could be somebody who likes textiles and architecture, that sort of thing, you could be an artist. Uh, we also have when to use it when it's time to give up the victim routine and start living with purpose. Hold on tight to Amethyst, get drunk on your higher self. So I do feel like you are possibly feeling a bit kind of lackluster around your everyday life. You kind of feel like things are a bit dull, a bit boring, um, or you're feeling like you just need to, to something to spice up a little bit. So I do feel like this is the energy that's kind of moving into your zone. So it may be a little bit more than 30 days for you guys for this to come in, but obviously just take it as it resonates. It's going to be different for everyone. I'm hearing that some of you guys is going to be a little bit of something new and then the rest will come later. So I do feel like it's, it all starts with you and how it's, how your journey is kind of, you know, panning out. So let's have a look and see. Ooh, divine feminine. I love that. So amethyst is a very feminine crystal. I always see it as very feminine, very delicate, very kind of just in control. I feel like amethyst is a very organizing kind of crystal. I don't know why it just kind of feels very organized. <laughs> 
and it kind of sorts out all the other crystals, <laughs> you know? So I feel like with the Divine Feminine, you're being called to kind of lead. So I feel like in your love life, you're being called to, to lead through this kind of darkness energy. So a lot of you guys could be Aries, you could be uh, Pisces. I feel like you're people who really lead. So you could be specifically like a fire sign, like a Sag or a Leo or an Aries, something like that. And it says, the frequency of the Divine Feminine supports our soft, receptive and nurturing side facilitating our intuition and in intrinsic understanding of our connection to the cosmos. So I feel like the Divine Feminine is the kind of all-encompassing, you know, Gaia. It's, it's everything where it comes from love and just expansion. So I feel like the more you tune into your Divine Feminine, how powerful you are. Obviously, you don't have to be a feminine to have this card or anything like that or have these messages. Everyone has feminine energy. It's just how we use it. So I feel like you're really connecting to things that you re that really light you up, things that really make you happy. And I feel like my hands are doing this thing where they're like turning a knob. So I feel like you're doing this, and my legs are vibrating as I'm <laughs> saying this. It feels like you're doing this thing where you're kind of putting your hand on like a radio tuning dial and you're kind of like tuning to the right frequency so I feel like that's what's happening with your energy it's kind of like you're trying to decide what feels good for me and what is the best step forward in this situation okay so this can be with a certain person it can be with a certain energy you know you take it as it resonates it does feel like there's a masculine in this situation um, it could be somebody you're currently dealing with or it could be somebody who's coming in which is very exciting so we have oh prosperity I love that that's great we have pride and we have protection. So let's have a look at these cards first before we get the rest of the cards. Okay, so prosperity, pride, and protection. I feel like this is a very big energy. This feels like you guys are really learning to not be so much in your ego. And I feel like you guys, okay, I'm getting really, this is very a weird message, but I'm getting really bad cramps right now. I don't know if you guys are on your period or <laughs> for some of you guys who have their period, I feel like there's cramps going on. So it could be like stomach cramps. It could be like actual cramping in some level. This could just be an ascension symptom. So don't take it too seriously, but obviously get checked out if you feel like it's something serious. Um, but I do feel like a science to the feminine energy that's kind of like bringing it in. And I feel like with prosperity, this is drawing love to you. So the more you're working on your own prosperity, what you really love and what makes you feel good, then that's something that's very important. I feel like with the pride and protection, I feel like I'm hearing pride and prejudice. So that could be a synchronicity, but I'm also hearing pride and protection. That's kind of like the new 2020 version. It's kind of like, don't let your own insecurities or the fact that you want to kind of be um, an individual or you want to be kind of independent stop you from loving stop you from expanding and stop you from being intimate in your relationships so a lot of us if we want to be independent sometimes that can actually be a blockage to love because we want to not be hurt obviously that's not all the time but I do feel like for you guys not everyone who you meet is going to be a disaster essentially you will find somebody who really suits you but also in your relationships you're learning to open up as well so I feel like that's something that is coming in naturally and don't force it guys if you're not comfortable with something just really tune in and kind of think okay is this something that I want to entertain okay if it is then maybe just work for it as you go through and I do feel like I'm just hearing divine timing and somebody's going to be very gentle and really worth your time so essentially if you are kind of meeting someone new or you have met someone new this person who you're gonna meet or, ha or have met, they're gonna take their time with you and that's when you know they're the right person because they're not gonna be somebody who's gonna force themselves on you or anything like that, it feels very gentle. So I feel like that's gonna make you feel very comfortable. There we go, we have Aries, yeah, very strong, very, very strong. And we have Capricorn and we have healing, exactly. So I do feel like part of you wants to stop um, relationships coming in because you might have been hurt quite a few times. It could have been really intense for you. You could use work as kind of like a defense kind of thing. It's like, oh, I'm not, I haven't got enough time for dating or anything like that. Girl, you will always have time for dating, okay? This is just something that maybe is going on with you right now where you just need to work on yourself. It could be that you don't really want to date and that's okay. Obviously that's an option, but don't hold it back because there could be somebody who wants to come in who's like, hi. Um, and it could be you meeting Aries or a Capricorn. It could be that you meet somebody in work because I always see Capricorn as kind of like a very work ethic energy. Um, very ambitious. Aries and Capricorns are very ambitious. I feel like they're very driven. There's people who just don't give up. Um, but also, I feel like you guys are going through a very deep healing stage. So I do feel like you could meet somebody while you're going through this healing stage. And it could be that 
they kind of create some sort of drastic impact in your life. It could be that you guys are really trying to balance out your work life because this person coming in is like, you're so used to being single, you're so used to working on yourself. You're like, oh wow, didn't, didn't actually know this person was gonna come in, but okay. And it's kind of a shock. So you may, your your initial reaction may be to protect yourself. And it may be that it's like, no, I don't need anyone. Like I don't need help, it's okay. But actually, being vulnerable is extremely, extremely beautiful. It's kind of like being vulnerable is is more brave than protecting yourself. Obviously protect yourself, guys, when you feel like you need to do that. But I feel like part of you wants to protect yourself because you may be nervous about this new person coming in or this new situation. But it's okay, you will get through it and you are seeing the light in the tunnel as well. And for some reason, I'm just, like, this is extremely random, I'm like squeezing my knees. So I feel like something, maybe that's something you do when you get nervous or maybe somebody who you're gonna meet, maybe the first time that they touch your knee or something, you kind of have like a jerk reaction kind of thing. You're like, oh, I don't really like that. So there's something that part of you is kind of learning to um, kind of embody another being into your world. So say it, it could even be, I'm hearing it could even be you get an animal, so you get a new pet. And sometimes that can be like a really big shift because you're learning to be more open-hearted around animals. You're learning to kind of, um, have responsibility over something something like that there's something that's shifting and your energy your feminine energy is really um getting kind of frazzled but then you start to calm afterwards after you realize what's kind of going on and what you're really learning i really do feel like there's a part of you that wants to just break out and i think you are definitely doing that so you guys are doing such a good job you really are okay so let's have a look at your astrology dice let's see what's coming for you guys oh okay Beautiful, you guys got Venus as well. Um, I'm pretty sure, yeah, oh, okay, okay, okay. Let's, let's pull her again, let's see what's going on. Seventh house, okay, <laughs> love that. So for you guys, definitely working on your relationships, 100%, so it doesn't actually have to be romantic, it can be friendships, it can be love partnerships. I feel like some of you guys are singers. I feel like some of you guys are singing with a partner and you're like, I'm seeing you guys doing karaoke on a stage, so something that could be something that you wanted to do. Um, something like that and I feel like with this seventh house you guys are really opening up to love or love is going to change in your love life so I definitely feel like what I said kind of resonates with the dice because Aquarians are very very independent they love having their independence they love being different and with Venus and seventh house it's very much to do with love so part of you wants to have a relationship part of you doesn't it's like oh I don't know what I want to do so it's kind of like I feel like you're really learning to open yourself up and be vulnerable and be this open-hearted, gorgeous human being that you naturally are. And I think you're also, you're learning about codependency. So if some of you guys, you could have been possibly a little bit codependent when you were younger or when, as you're kind of growing up, you're kind of learning, hmm, maybe I don't want to be like this anymore. And you'll learn to have that independence and that's what's bringing your person in or what bring, what's bringing this gorgeous wave of love energy coming into your life because I feel like you're really learning to to kind of balance that out so let's have a look at your energy and let's see what's going on with you oops okay so perfect buffalo someone who's very very grounded um, has a lot of ideas somebody who is very impactful so you could be if you know your human design you could be a projector somebody who just really kind of exerts some gorgeous like confidence energy obviously you don't have to be guys just take it as it resonates your person is the mouse i love that so this person you are the more possibly the more dominant one in the relationship but also you could be um the sort of person who you are kind of more ahead than your person i feel i feel like in terms of confidence you're more ahead, but in terms of independence and kind of letting yourself be open, it could be a little bit more difficult for you, but your person is very, very good. It's kind of like the opposite. You're kind of opposites, which is balancing each other out. So let's have a look at the relationship or the situation between you both. Gazelle. This gazelle always comes out when there's kind of like fire signs who have, who have clicked on this video. So the gazelle is very much about exactly what I was just saying. It's kind of like being vulnerable, but also being in control. So I feel like letting yourself be free and knowing that not everything is a big deal um, and not taking life too seriously, which I know can be difficult, but you guys have got this. You have definitely got this. And we also had 11 on the clock. So just that could be a synchronicity for you, but also number seven could be very synchronistic. It's also a very spiritual number. So just take that as it resonates. And we also have the hyena. So if you guys, you could want a relationship that's very funny, very light, very genuine, very kind of humorous. And I feel like you also, I feel like just to have a laugh sometimes and just laugh yourself for, I'm hearing laugh yourself to freedom. <laughs> I don't know if anyone's written a book about that, but that could that's like a really 
big synchronicity I feel like laughter is just something that's going to really free you because it's going to make sure that you're not taking life too seriously and your, and your kind of adrenaline isn't like really really high so the buffaloes also kind of remind me of that kind of ball energy where you know when bulls kind of like push their head against something and rams kind of like with like with Aries or Taurus they kind of like they use their head a lot so you could be getting a lot of headaches um having these ascension symptoms you could have a bit of, of, of a headache or some sort of like mugginess around your head so just take that as it resonates and just know that if you are getting that it could be just ascension symptoms but I do feel like something's going to come in like really drastically and you'll really learn to kind of Obviously, I do feel like you are someone very organised. I feel like you're somebody who's an organiser. You're somebody who kind of sorts everyone else out. Um, but I feel like that's coming in handy because your person who you're going to meet, they're going to really find that attractive. They love somebody who's very in control. And I feel like your person's very delicate. I feel like they have a lot of water, but also earth. And both of you are being represented as earth here. So that's really, really good. And when you meet, you're both going to be this really gorgeous yin-yang situation. So obviously this doesn't have to be a new person. It could be somebody you are with already. Or it could just be a new energy that's coming into your life. It just feels softness. I'm hearing softness. So you're manifesting softness in your life. And you're kind of bringing in that gorgeous like sensitivity which I feel like you're yearning you're def definitely yearning especially since all this COVID stuff has happened I feel like it's been really hard to kind of connect with people like physically so I feel like you're really learning to connect to yourself physically first before you manifest any type of relationship okay so let's have a look at your tarot and let's see what wants to come through for my lovely group number two I'm seeing a house and I'm seeing the number four. So some of you guys, you've got a massive amount of, of synchro, like synchronicity, no strength. You've got a lot of strength and you've got a lot of stability coming in. Stability, that was the word that I was thinking of. Whoops, messing up my thing. It's rude. Okay, now you have the magician. That's kind of reminding me of that lightning energy that was in the, the, um, the last card. I feel like you guys are going to get a massive amount of like downloads and amethyst for you guys the crystal that you chose is very intuitive so you guys could be very intuitive and you're really getting a lot of downloads around your love life and kind of how your relationships are panning out yeah i always get like a massive fire sign energy from the hierophant so i do feel like you are learning to be this confident gorgeous human being who really is very aware of how your emotions are kind of coming up and you're kind of not reacting wow yeah queen of wands beautiful fire sign energy so underneath the deck, we have the Five of Cups. So underneath this intense, fiery energy, you could be feeling a little bit of unconfidence, um, kind of feeling like you need to protect yourself. And I do feel like you are letting that go. And it could be because you guys have always needed to be the independent one, always needed to sort everyone else out. You do not need to do that anymore, girl. Like obviously do it when you feel you, the need to, but you guys have gone through so much. You're gonna find somebody who really suits your energy. But also, I do feel like you're going to find someone who's very gen generous. And this could be in the next 30 days. It doesn't have to be. Obviously, timing is very fluid. And there is a lot of different people watching this. So obviously, everyone's path is different. But with a magician, I feel like you're really learning to use your strengths to open your heart up. And opening your heart and being vulnerable is very scary. But it's the most brave thing you can do. And it will also help improve your relationships because you're able to be very vulnerable. And they can understand you at a more deeper level. As I say, it doesn't actually have to be in your romantic relationships, can be any type of relationship that you kind of are entertaining. So if it's family or even in your, your roommate, maybe a roommate or somebody who lives with you. But I do feel like you are, I feel like for you guys, you could be wanting to just be single. You could be watching this thinking, oh, I'm curious about my love life, but I'm not too bothered. I'm hearing that for some of you guys. But also there's a part of it that's really balancing out and you're learning to kind of entertain the masculine, especially if you guys are attracted to masculines. I feel like you're learning to have a, a stronger, more healthier relationship with masculines. It could be even like a father figure in your life, it could be a granddad, it could be an uncle, it could be a brother. It could be anything that there's a masculine in your life who you may have had a little bit of a rocky road with, but also it's kind of like you're just learning to to have a more calmer, more healthier relationship with the opposite sex, but also whoever you're attracted to, I do feel like that's what you're working on. So say if you're more attracted to females, you're working on your relationship with females. If you're more attracted to, you know, um, someone who is genderless, that's kind of what you're working with as well. So I do feel like whoever you're attracted to, whatever gender, whoever form this person comes in, that's the sort of relationship you're working with at the moment. It doesn't actually have to be romantic. I feel like the best relationship you can have is with yourself. And then kind of, as long as you are working on it, all of your relationships anyway, it's going to be a good relationship when you find your romantic partner or when you 
it's just going to help you to manifest this balance and calmness. So thank you so much for watching this reading, guys. If you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below. I have my crystal shop down below. I'm sending these gorgeous little copper spheres on there soon. So look out for those. They're really good for grounding. I highly recommend them. Um, yeah, beautiful reading, guys. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number three. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your love reading. So let's see what's happening with you guys in the next 30 days. So you guys got pyrite. Friggin' love this crystal. It's one of my absolute faves. Very similar to copper. It's kind of got that really gorgeous, like metallic sheen to it. So it says where to put it. Pyrite is often used near the solar plexus or wheel center, but it works wonders anywhere you need a little boost of masculine energy. For example, on the fellas, the low, low abdomen, just saying. <laughs> I love that. When to use it on that romantic weekend away from the kids and whenever the energy to power through feels shrouded in dark matter, call on your core power. So for you guys, oh, also it says the chronically lethargic, anybody sleeping on their potential. So I do feel like this is more about your, your kind of drive and also your masculine energy. So everyone has masculine energy within them. I do feel like this is more about your sensual power and how you manifest through your sacral chakra and your creativity. I feel like you guys who are single and wanting a relationship, I feel like you are learning how to deal with your masculine energy within yourself. And in turn, that is going to bring in a gorgeous masculine energy for yourself. Obviously, if you don't want a masculine, just take it as it resonates. Whatever kind of, if you're working on your feminine and you are kind of, want, if you're wanting a feminine, you're working on your feminine. I feel like whoever you're attracted to, that's the energy you're working on so you can prepare for this relationship. I feel like group number three, and even before I've done group number four, I feel like both of those groups I feel like you guys are the closest to your relationships. That's kind of what I'm feeling. It feels like they're very close. It feels like I can almost feel another energy come in as I'm just, as I'm saying that. So very good. Yep, union, beautiful. So number 44. It's funny that I said green number four, we have 44. So this is really interesting. I feel like you guys are definitely manifesting balance and kind of stability and feeling more grounded in yourself. You're not kind of needing external validation to feel good about yourself and obviously that's totally fine guys good girl a good compliment once in a while I do not mind you know so I feel like for you guys it's like yes the compliment is good but I already knew that you know what I'm saying so yeah but obviously compliments are good guys I do feel like you're learning to just be your best your own best friend and I feel like those of you who have like a sister I feel like for some reason you're kind of like coming into a better relationship with them something like that especially if you are a female and you want and you're kind of you've got a sister or um like a best friend or something you've got you, you're connecting with them on a very deep level in some in some way that's just kind of what I'm picking up on aspirations beautiful so as I whenever I see pyrite I always think of career because pyrite is a really good money manifester masculine energy is very much to do with money it's to do with abundance physical energy okay so with pyrite and the fact your aspiration I do feel like the more you aspire to kind of connect with your life purpose connect with what makes you feel good choosing yourself over everything else this is going to bring your union together and even if you are already with somebody this is the energy that you're entertaining right now you could be moving towards something you're very you're very um connected to so say say you're really into reiki but you've never done reiki before but you really want to try it but you're too scared to you're kind of like doing all the research and you're starting that path so you can get there also i feel like for some of you guys you are going to meet your person through your work um, especially those you are single or you could have met your person through work if you're already in a relationship but I feel it is something changing in your work life as well I feel like you're becoming more confident within your work and in your money even if you're unemployed I feel like you're just like you know what it will come when it comes you know it will manifest when it manifests so I feel like you guys are definitely more balanced than you were before and when I say when you were before just take that as it resonates whenever the timing is right for you but I'm just that's literally the message I'm hearing you're more confident you're more balanced than where, where you were before I'm seeing for you guys, I'm seeing a girl with pigtails. I don't know why that's just kind of coming in. It could be when you were younger, when you were like your inner child. Um, it could also be when you were a child, you may have worn your hair in pigtails. It just feels like a part of you is really coming into yourself. And the sun is all about the, your, your being. It's all about who you are. Our oh, beautiful Scorpio. Yes, queen. We love Scorpio. I'm a Scorpio, so I get excited. <laughs> Can't help myself. So Scorpios are very, very, very kind of instinctual. They're very psychic. They are very sensual. Not all of them, but a lot of them are because Scorpio is ruled by Pluto. It's ruled by the underworld and also ruled by Mars. And Mars is a very sensual energy. Sun, 
also very masculine. So for you guys, you are definitely, 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 definitely 100% working on your masculine energy. You are working on the need to be sexual and need to kind of open yourself up and be creative and let yourself free flow and let yourself free fall and the universe will catch you. So essentially just opening this kind of, I'm hearing the opening a crevice, sounds very weird, but I'm hearing opening like a part of you that has possibly been shut for a while or you're kind of curious. You're like, hmm, what if I do that? What will happen? It's kind of like you're not having any expectations. You're just literally experimenting with yourself. Could be essentially, could be in creatively, could be in work. You know, you're just letting yourself kind of, you know, give yourself little opportunities and you could be manifesting a Scorpio as well. Also the 11th house, as I said, very much to do with career, but also to do with groups. So you could meet a person in a group, like a spiritual group. You could be kind of focusing more on your groups in your situation. So say you have like quite a big family or working on like a group dynamic within your family. It could be you're working on groups at school or college or uni or in your workplace, but also it could mean that you meet your person through like some sort of spiritual group or a group that you're really interested in say you like photography or art or swimming you know all those things randomly swimming but yeah I do feel like something is being cracked open and your heart is really at the center of it I feel like you're so ready for a relationship I feel like this group is very ready for a relationship if you guys are not already in one and you're single you're wanting one you're definitely ready I feel like you guys I feel like you guys have really been working on part of you that's really been building up and now you have much more kind of I'm hearing sanity <laughs> you have much more kind of um you're settled into yourself that's what I'm hearing very very beautiful I love this you've really transformed and I feel like you're coming away from any manipulative destructive compulsive situations within yourself but also in relationships it doesn't have to be romantic it could be um, a dominating parent it could be a dominating sibling um, a dominating friend something like that you're moving away from that and you're really observing Scorpios are very good at observing they kind of always like 10 steps ahead which can cause a lot of anxiety but also they are very aware of their surroundings so you when you meet this person you're going to have a very spiritual connection it's going to feel so 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 perfect and it's going to be like holy crap this person's like the piece to my puzzle that I've been missing but also obviously you don't need a partner to feel whole but this person is going to come in it's going to be like wow I feel so complete and this could even just be a friendship this could be even a new kind of family member it could be somebody you've never met it could be a new baby in the family you think Do you know what this is really nice to have this childlike energy around and I feel more I can tune more into my childlike energy you know it could be anything like that so just take it as it resonates guys but I do feel like you're really working on yourself. You're being an independent person and you're really just kind of doing you and that's what's attracting a relationship. It feels really good. And I'm sorry if you guys heard my stomach rumble. I need to eat something, okay? <laughs> There's definitely fireworks with this person though. I feel like when you meet this situation or you meet this, this person, it's gonna feel like you have done it. It feels like, yes, this is what I've been waiting for, okay? So let's have a look and see what we've got in the dance. Okay, so we have Capricorn, we have Mercury, and we have the fifth house. So I really like this combination. I am kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing, I'm a bit confused with the Capricorn Mercury. Can you tell me, can you tell what this is? Communication in work. Okay, that's interesting. So I do feel like, okay, somebody, I'm getting so many messages now. Now I've asked, it's like, pff, like a massive waterfall of energy has just come down into my body. So Okay, first message, somebody you can meet in your career or a group, as I said, very good with their communication. They will speak exactly how they feel. They are on the surface. Everything is kind of there on the surface. Authenticity, very, very human energy. Not somebody who's narcissistic. Somebody who's very genuine, a genuine human being, I'm hearing. Somebody who's very earthy. So it could be as say Capricorn, like Taurus or Virgo as well. Um, the Mercury is all about the energy of the mind. It's all about communication, siblings, social activity, interests. So you definitely can meet someone through like a group situation. Also, you could just be joining a group. You could not really want a relationship or you could be already in one and you're like, Do you know what? I'm going to join a group because I want to. It could even be online. It doesn't have to be physically. Also, the fifth house is to do romance, to do with creativity. The fifth house is all about that Leo expressive energy. So you could be really beginning to be more expressive in work and that could manifest somebody because you're allowing yourself to be open and feel free and not restricting yourself. Capricorns is very, can be quite a restricting energy. It can also be very much about rules and regulations. So for you, it could be that you're bringing in more rules for yourself, but in a very like mature way, it's kind of like, do you know what? I want to arrive to places on time. I'm going to be more 
kind of, I'm going to think about it in advance. I'm not going to kind of rush around and my adrenaline's going to be all over the place. It's kind of like you're, you're allowing yourself to be more organized and you're allowing yourself to kind of be more open around. I feel like being more mature. I feel like because you've kind of, kind of chipped away and kind of worked with a lot of the intensity energy that you have, I feel like it's really come into this gorgeous, subtle, like energy and I feel like when you meet this situation or this person it's going to be extremely natural you don't have to do anything that you don't want to do so say if you're like oh I think I'm going to meet somebody in a, in a community so I have to do it and I have to go into community just do what you want to do there is no rules to this situation only what you put on yourself essentially so your person is going to come in whether you like it or not essentially um and also just kind of come in at a very natural time. And I'm just picking up on like a flower and I'm just seeing you're growing. I'm hearing you're growing. You're coming into your own. It's like you've outgrown your old plant pot and now you're being put into a new plant pot. But also some of you guys are being put into plant pots. Some of you guys are being put into plant beds. It's kind of like you are now um, advancing, coming into a new level of your life. I'm seeing a pizza. I've no idea why. That's what I'm seeing. So your energy. Let's see what's going on with your energy. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. This is really, really determined. Somebody who's very fiery. Somebody who knows what they freaking want. And also you're working on your intuition. Like you could be very connected to the moon as well. The moon could really fuel you with your intuition. Moon is very sensitive. So if you have Cancerian in your chart or like Pisces or Scorpio, most likely you are very sensitive, you are very um, kind of empathic. So even if you aren't guys, I do feel like this kind of this, this gorgeous, like I'm in tune with the universe and I'm gonna use it to my potential, you know? Like your intuition is guiding you. So you have no like bothersome about how you're gonna meet this person. I feel like it's just gonna happen so naturally. So let's have a look at your person or the situation. Beautiful, very Scorpionic. So your person could very much be a Scorpio, or Scorpio rising, a Scorpio moon, something like that could be both fire signs as well because he's both represented as fire also the cobra is about transformation it's about this gorgeous kind of like energy of like taboo things that you possibly haven't thought of yet so your person you could have a massive idea of who they are when you're going to meet them all this stuff but then when you actually meet them you're like wow i I did not expect that and it's absolutely beautiful every time i get the cobra i always think of the basilisk from harry potter it's a very intense scene so i feel like you guys are now coming away from everything that no longer serves you underneath we have the dolphin oh my god i feel like this is in the reverse because it's kind of getting you to enjoy yourself more and kind of getting yourself to just really be open to the love that's coming in so do things that you enjoy more. I feel like you guys restrict yourself sometimes and you don't need to, you honestly don't. If you need to take a break, freaking take a break, okay? So, okay, so both you, both of you and this person very much going through a gigantic transformation because I feel like this is you and this is them. So essentially you both got like transformative energy. It's kind of like this is behind this person and this is in front. So it's almost like both of you are learning to work with your subconscious and your conscious energy. So some of you guys could be in hip doing hypnosis, you could be having counseling, something like that where things are coming up. And we also had the moon twice here in different forms. So basically the moon could be very significant when you meet a per this person or you meet this new situation. Uh, timing wise it could be you meet them on a full moon it could be you meet them on like a crescent moon waxing crescent something like that and you think oh wow like or it could be like a significant moon it could be capricorn moon that you meet them on something like that or maybe gemini because of uh, mercury or maybe leo because of the fifth house so we have the earth energy and the air energy so it's essentially someone who's very earthy but also really good at communication so very stable relationship the communication is going to be really easy in this situation this could also mean that if it's a significant person it can mean that in your relationships in your life you'll learn to communicate very softly very gently but also with power this is very much about the feminine this is more about the masculine i feel like you're both learning to kind of like work with both of that energy and with the deer, I feel like this is someone who's very observant, very sensitive, but also very deep and very sensual. So very, I mean, very Scorpio. That is like Scorpio through and through. Um, yeah, I feel like this is really beautiful. I'm hearing you guys are shedding your skin, which is interesting because I was actually looking at the tiger when I said that, not the cobra. So both of you are pretty much going through a very similar situation, but in different ways. I love this. I love this. This is so beautiful. You don't know what's coming towards you, you really don't. Some of you guys think you have a massive idea, but honestly, guys, some of you are going to be so shocked when you meet your person. It's going to be the most perfect environment as well. So it's kind of like you're not going to have to force it or anything. So let's see for group number three, what's going on. I'm seeing a stable table. That's normally a message I get from my guys. They love to 
pull out that that little message so for you guys massive stability you guys are now learning oh beautiful two of cups you're now learning to um embrace both sides of you okay the the taboo intense side but also the sensitive but also the driven and ambitious okay which is bringing you to your person i love this this person okay guys some of you are really worried about manifesting a relationship and you're like am i ever going to manifest somebody you have nothing to worry about when i'm hearing this message i'm getting this massive like shaky scared energy in my heart and also in my solar plexus you know when you miss a step on the stairs and you get a kind of like oh, like whoosh of of energy that's what i'm getting and that's the energy that oh that might be the energy that possibly you're feeling around when you meet this person because it may be that they have such a strong energy it really affects your energy and you're like whoa why do i suddenly feel so weird and then you look around and then somebody's just like staring at you and they're really attractive something like that um you could have virgo quite strongly in your chart but also part of you wants to go in hermit mode let yourself do that if you need a break from work from the outside world do that allow yourself to um have a break because we need to, especially right now guys the energies are so freaking crazy like nothing is perfect so if you need to take a break allow yourself to do that definitely going to meet somebody through work that's one big synchronicity right there but you're also working on your career and you're working on your um what's the word can you give me the word please universe what's the word please you're working on your empire thank you you're working on your empire so it could be your own business it could be the way you're interacting with money you're what you're becoming more healthier definitely energy of like things moving so we've got the eight of wands and the six of wands really like strong powerful fiery energy and i do feel like you are definitely coming into balance with your emotions you're learning to kind of like feel your emotions and i do feel like you guys are very very watery i feel like this group is very watery um a lot of you guys are water signs i feel like you care so much about people and you're definitely going to manifest somebody okay you deserve it you're going to get it okay that is just i'm just confirming it right now it may not be in 30 days but for some of you it could be in like 10 days okay but some of you could be in three months but the number five could also be significant for you guys as well we do have the five of swords so for you guys this is an internal worry i feel like you guys are worrying you guys could be very deep people and you could like kind of internalize everything so be aware not to take things too seriously everything is working out in your favor you guys can do this i'm also seeing a yin yang sign so look out for that look out for angels as well it could be something that you see in general in your life but also like look out for like the shape of an angel it could be something that's very significant even like the clouds could be i also really like that this card is depicted almost like the star because we have like a little star in this lantern so I do feel like this person is going to come in divine timing. Whenever I get the start, I'm like, okay, that's divine timing. The universe is sorting it out for you. And it will also come in when it's just the right time. Like sometimes with things, they don't always feel like the right timing, but then you look back at it and you think, oh, wow, yeah, that's actually a really good timing. So as a human, we can't always realize what things are, especially because we're in like this 3D energy. So I feel like for you guys, it's just don't worry about it. You know, things will come in when they're meant to come in. It's a very natural process. So just allow yourself to feel this. It's all good. It's all good, girl. It's going to be great. <laughs> um, also, you're manifesting confidence within your love life too. You could be manifesting in Leo as well. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below. I also, with my crystal shop, that's also down below. I'm selling these gorgeous little uh, copper spheres very soon. So if you want to check that out, have a look down below. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number four. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your love life reading in 30 days. So, okay, so we have Danburite. So the first thing I just picked up on was I saw a year. So it could be for some of you guys, it could even be like a year before your love life picks up, but obviously take this as it resonates. Everyone's in different positions. So, but I'm also seeing in a year, you're not going to recognize yourself. You're going to feel like a completely different energy. Okay, so... We have turn on your electric light, when to use it, when the daily grind has ground you into the pavement, when you feel like launching into space but lack astronaut training. Fibre with Damborite can help divert your busy mind away from its pesky physics ruled orientation. There's somewhere out else out there. Flip on the high beams and explore. We also have who needs it, emos, goths, button up, white collar stress cases. We also have where to put it, wherever you want to do some elevated thinking, feeling, dreaming, or being. So I feel like some of you guys, you could be like journalist or you could be somebody who really likes to like write in a journal. You really love words. Words are very, are something that you really connect to. So I feel like how to manifest your person is to really write positive affirmations about yourself. 
that will help you manifest the best love life for you because I feel like it's something to do with your confidence that you're really working on, okay? And just your drive going forward. So we have six chakra, beautiful. So this is a third eye. So you guys can be very, very intuitive. You could also be working on your third eye. And this is very much about like spacey energy, very much about like high kind of vibing third eye crown chakra kind of intuitive energy so I feel like for you guys you could be getting messages um coming down from the divine you could be getting messages from your your um spirit guides the universe but also you could just be getting signs and synchronicities and that the sixth chakra is just something you're really working on as well for some of you guys you could really connect to amethyst too that could be something that you really work on I'm seeing you guys in a play area and you're pushing like kids on a swing and there could be your children it could be that they could be a friend's children or it could be that you'll learn to have more fun it could just be your inner child and you're learning to just have more fun and just enjoy life yeah beautiful passion that's so good so I have no idea how to pronounce this this flower but I do feel like this flower is something that's a big synchronicity so look up that name possibly if you're drawn to um I just feel like things are becoming clearer. I feel like with this butterfly dragon little dude here, the wings are very transparent. So I feel like things are becoming much more transparent and they could be a little bit uncomfortable right now, but it's good because you're learning things and you're being exposed to things where as before you just kind of pushed it down or didn't realize it. And now things are becoming much more clearer and what you're passionate about is possibly becoming clearer too. And you can meet somebody or meet a new energy when you become much more passionate about what drives you. And also you could be researching a lot about what drives you as well. Beautiful, I love this. Wow, 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 beautiful. Communication is really important to you guys. I feel like I keep getting that and we have Gemini and Gemini is very much ruled by the third house, which is to do communication. So I feel like you guys are becoming very curious and you're kind of seeking out something and it could be a relationship, it could be a friendship, it could be something you're really passionate about or you don't even know what you're passionate about and you're learning to kind of figure that out. You could have Aquarius or Gemini quite strongly in your chart but also you can be a Gemini or Aquarius who just really suits your energy and someone who's very passionate. Whenever we have Venus love, this always represents for me a partnership whenever I get this. So if you guys, you could be single and wanting something that you're really passionate about and you guys are really growing. I feel like you're really learning to grow and you're, you're, I feel like you're giving yourself nutrients. I feel like I'm getting this massive symbolism around growing and plants. I'm seeing you guys as like a little plant pot. And over time, you're the one who has to water yourself, essentially. So that's you giving yourself love. But also, it's like before you, you stopped nurturing yourself, you stopped watering yourself, you just kind of thought, okay, well, this isn't really something that's important to me. You were like, man, I'm not really bothered. And therefore, parts of you started to like get confused, kind of lack safety, that sort of thing. But now you kind of come to this turnaround, you've got your passion back, and now you're starting to water yourself. So it could be that you meet someone through something you're very passionate about, it could be a hobby, could be a career, could be just something that you really love. Could even, I'm hearing you could even meet this person at a stationery shop. So random, but it could be that you're really interested in stationery and you're really interested in books. You can meet them at a library, something like that. I feel like you guys are very like book nerds, <laughs> that's what I'm hearing. You really like books. Um, I'm saying I'm hearing something to do with your spine and your neck. So you could have quite a long neck, or you could meet somebody who's very um thin with a long neck something like that I'm hearing like your neck is very long and thin and your back is very your 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 shape is quite straight or like your back is like something to do with your back I don't know what that is but it could be some of you are dancers or um like fitness enthusiasts something like that and you're learning on your core you're learning to kind of work with your body and not against it um also I feel like you're kind of figuring out your personality you're kind of realizing what suits me what makes me feel good what empowers me um what do I feel really passionate about all those things and you're kind of moving that forward you're letting it move you forward it couldn't be something as simple as you bought a book and it was really inspirational and that could have really turned your whole life around it couldn't be something like the secret or I'm hearing the film like secret life of pets is that a, is that a film I hope it is I'm just hearing like something you're figuring out is like a secret but now it's no longer a secret kind of thing you're really kind of diving deep kind of like almost like psychology or something to do with like, like human design or astrology you're kind of looking more into it okay so let's see all right so we have the energy of uranus sorry my, my brain just went like Woo! we have cancer and we also have 12th house oh my god guys you guys are going for a gigantic revolution revelation revolution both of those um 
I feel like with the 12th house, you your love life kind of is important to you, but it's not super, super important right now. I feel like you're really learning to recognize, okay, I really want a relationship, but I need to work on myself. And every time you feel the need to kind of put your energy into somebody else, it's possibly toxic or narcissistic, you pull it back to yourself, which is perfect. You are definitely realizing a part of you that needs to be worked on. And the 12th house is very much about endings, healing, closure. It's all about what's beneath, what the subconscious is. So you guys could be doing hypnosis. You could be doing, um, I'm hearing karmic relationships. So you could be dealing with some karma in your relationships, but it's kind of ending now. And Uranus is a very big kind of energy. It kind of creates destruction, but it also creates expansion at the same time. So with Cancer, you are learning to open your heart, but also to close old chapters. So people who are no longer uh, working for you in a, in a way that like you're vibing with them, your energy is just not there anymore with them. You are now learning to let go of them and realizing, okay, what is good for me? And I'm not going to no longer like open my heart to people who are just narcissistic. And you're realizing who is good for you and who isn't, which is perfect. I mean, like the 12th house here, that was a really bad click. Sometimes my clicks are really weird. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, but anyway, the 12th house here is about, as I say, endings, karma, that sort of thing. And when you finish with the 12th house, you're then in the first house, which is like your approach to life. It's how you are yourself. It's how you approach life and yeah, and the self. And it's all about your uh, it's all about beginnings, it's all about your appearance, the body, your first impressions, all that sort of stuff. So you're going to look different to people who maybe you possibly like you end a relationship with somebody or connection and then maybe you meet like a few years later and, and then you, you look totally different to that person because you've grown so much and you're no longer entertaining people who are sucking the life out of you. Okay, beautiful. Okay, so let's have a look at your energy. Let's see what's going on with you guys right now. See how you're being represented. Be, feel free to just kind of swap the people around. Okay, so if we need to put this in reverse, we're going to do that. Crocodiles are just waiting for their chance, waiting for their time. So I feel like with a crocodile in reverse, you're kind of waiting for the chance to kind of act. Okay, that was a bad click that time. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look at your person or the situation you're dealing with. Beautiful. Learn to open your throat chakra. Singing a lot. You could be uh, into spoken word poetry. You could be somebody who loves to uh, say journal, but also like read it out loud after you've written it. Could be you're re-speaking your truth with your relationships, especially if you have cancer in the 12th house. I mean, like, that is just so synchronistic. I feel, especially with this blue, this is very much to do with water and kind of empathic energy and emotions and the throat chakra and learning to just really let things go out and let the and releasing things as well. So this could be you, this could be the energy, but also this could be somebody coming in who is speaking to you. It could even be a therapist. It could be having a really good relationship with a therapist and you both have a very good connection. It's kind of like it's helping you to reveal all of this stuff that no longer serves you, okay? So let's have a look at your relationship or situation. Okay, this, I think, I'm pretty sure group number three had this. Okay, so you have the stingray. So really just gliding through life and you're kind of accessing all these different chakras. So you may feel a bit overwhelmed right now with your love life. You're kind of like, oh, I don't know what to do about it. This is kind of showing me that you guys are really learning to access all of these chakras and let yourself feel. But also it can be overwhelming because you may be realizing things about your life or about yourself or your relationships. And it's kind of new news for you. So the cobra could be connected to the crocodile. The tiger could be connected to the nightingale here. So with the cobra, I do feel like this is about you shedding old skin and kind of bringing in this new empowered being. The tiger is very much about your drive, pushing forward. So you could be meeting somebody who helps you shed your old skin, but also you could be meeting somebody who reminds you of your old self and you, you're helping that person then because you realize what you had to go through and it's very empowering for that person. It also means that you guys are really um, expressing your passion about something. It could be that you are speaking to a partner about somebody you're really, something you're really passionate about and you wanna try a new hobby. It could be that you're just exiting the premises here and whenever I say that, it's another message that I get a lot where it basically means that you are learning to now exit everything that you now you knew and thought you knew and now it's kind of like you're allowing yourself to go into the unknown which can be extremely scary but also extremely liberating and also I feel like it's tiger I'm actually hearing that kind of like growling sound so I feel like this is about you protecting yourself and obviously protecting yourself is really good but we need to learn to also be vulnerable as well especially with our speech so if you need to have a conversation with somebody let it come out 
but also don't try not to snap at people if they say the wrong thing because there's a lot of anger coming out right now with the energies so just be very aware of how you're speaking to people but also be very aware of when you really need to speak your truth is very very important and I feel like with the tiger I feel like this is like the main energy these two I feel like are the main energies I feel like they're the most intense so I feel like you guys could be going through like a really intense energy right now it could be a bit uncomfortable but just be aware that this is changing and this is all for good okay this is all for the good so let's see what's coming in for you guys we have the tower exactly massive amount of i'm hearing recreation is that the right word hopefully it is like you are creating something new yes that you're very passionate about you're no longer um needing access or needing um confirmation from others you're now kind of like no nope, i know what i want this is what i'm going to go towards as long as it's obviously safe and it's something you're really passionate about freaking go for it girl like freaking go for it beautiful okay so for some of you guys you could be wanting to start a new career or starting something that you're passionate about but also you need money for it so it could be something that you're a bit nervous about and you're like oh this is not going to pan out i'm not even going to bother but this is a chance for you to really come into your power and it could be that you want to work abroad and obviously borders some borders are shut at the moment so you may be planning for that also you could meet somebody who gives you a chance in work oops Sorry guys, that's a bit of blue tack that just, <laughs> that just rolled from the side of my uh, camera here. Um, and then we have the magician. So this is very much about you just embracing this new start. And I do feel like there's somebody coming in from abroad. So they, might, they may not be from a different country. They may look like they're from a different country, but they are born in the country that you're in. Does that make sense? Um, but there's somebody, could be foreign as in like, you've never met them before as well. Um, and you're learning to kind of be very open to change and not to stop yourself from feeling into this new energy so the nine of wands is also a nine of wands and the four of pentacles are very similar energy it's very much about kind of protecting yourself stopping yourself from kind of like being liberated and feeling open so just be aware that if something comes in obviously be discerning but if it's something you're really passionate about you have the kind of choice to go for it and go go with it and know that you can access that part of you and be confident and I feel like it's all about confidence I feel like in your love life there's definitely some sort of new start coming in as well um but it could be that part of you is scared because you're not sure okay in terms of career it's kind of like you're giving yourself permission to just like go for it and then that's bringing you towards somebody who you may not have ever met if you didn't do this new start but it's all very natural I feel like no forcing obviously just do what you're intuitively drawn to and the nine of wands is all about kind of feeling a bit lackluster so for some of you guys it could be about your uh, sex drive your drive could be kind of like low right now or it could be that you're kind of worried that you're not really passionate about anything and that's okay being in the unknown is okay it may be scary but in the unknown is where we can find something new and it means that also we're exiting the premises we're exiting something that no longer serves us anymore and that's really brave and that's amazing you guys it's so good to do that sometimes because it really liberates us from the old patterning that we've had even if it's positive it could mean that we just need to change it up because we're constantly growing and that's okay tower is just wow i love the tower and the ace of wands i think that's so beautiful it could be like a sensual offer coming in it could be your first time with your partner it could be the first time that you had go on a date and you're just like oh i don't know if i should do it you know i haven't got enough money you know you're making possibly making excuses sort of thing but obviously i feel like yeah i just feel like go for it guys if you're if you're passionate about something it doesn't have to be in love but if you're passionate about something just freaking go for it i'm also hearing you guys could get some really intense dreams 12th house is about subconscious it's pisces and pisces rules dreams essentially so you may be getting some really deep downloads some really big dreams about your partnerships or any new things that are coming in could be about like synchronicities that are happening to do with your emotions so say you're really working on your emotions and you are dealing with something in your dream that could be connected to those emotions that you're working with so say if you're really kind of going for like a very deep breakup you could be having some really intense arguments with somebody in the dream or you could be kind of feeling very um, vulnerable that could be just emotions coming up so let it come up and also don't be scared of your dreams guys obviously it can be quite scary um have rose quartz knee that will help also rough rose quartz i sell on my shop because it's so good for sleep like i hold rose quartz whenever i need to kind of fall asleep it just relaxes your body don't know how it does it but it's amazing so um yeah so thank you so much for watching guys if you like a private reading all my information is down below i'm hearing get ready for a new beginning it's coming in and also the magician's kind of like a brand new start so don't be afraid of this new start it's going to be beautiful and i'm hearing this like wand energy like this ring kind of like you know it's like magician kind of like bibbidi bobbidi boo you know <laughs> kind of harry potter stuff <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's beautiful sorry guys I just like choked on some air 
Um, so thank you so much for being here, guys. Um, if you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below. Please feel free to subscribe. I'd really, really appreciate it. If you guys would like to check out my crystal shop, that's also down below. I'm going to be selling these cute little uh, copper spheres. They're really, really good for grounding and really good at kind of like releasing any old energies from the day. So it's really good for empaths and things like that who really suffer with high sensitivity. Um, also really good at charging other crystals as well. So thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.